welcome to Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick and we are on tour. We are in San Francisco, in California, in the US, at the Moscone Center downtown at the IDF 2014, which is the Intel Developer Forum. And I'm talking with Rene Torres, who is Director of Marketing, SDN and NFE at Intel. Quite a mouthful. Rene, welcome. It's quite noisy. There are 5,000 delegates here. They're all enjoying themselves. There's a disco going on next door, so the sound comes and goes. Um, but then it's lively, and yes. the people, are, people are enjoying themselves. Good to see you. Can I start by asking you, how are SDN and NFE transforming the networking industry, do you think? Better question of where is it not transforming the industry. And, and I look at it from a telecom, a cloud, and an enterprise perspective. Kind of these are the three verticals that we see that are ultimately being transformed in terms of the business model. Um, you know, right now, I think we're right, I would say we're heading towards 15, and this is going to be the year of, of trials and deployments. Um, and we're already seeing the makings of multiple consortiums that are forming to say, here are the end user requirements. Things, for example, like Etsy has been, has been progressing heavily in terms of what telecom's looking to get um, from the ecosystem, from the market, in terms of deploying solutions across the entire WAN network. Uh, the cloud piece also progressing with things like the open compute platform. Uh, lastly, from enterprise perspective, things like ONUG with the open networking user group. So uh, a lot of excitement now to actually get out of having all of the, what I would call the, the theory, the, uh, the discussions about what could be versus let's get it into the labs, let's deploy them, let's trial them. It's been obvious within the industry for some time that there are a lot of benefits occurring from both SDN and NFV. Have those benefits changed and do your customers appreciate what's happening and are they willing to embrace it? You know, I think the benefits, to put it simply, are to, to save money and make money, with an emphasis on make money, right? You can't yep. save your way out of uh, things through reducing CapEx, OpEx. Um, we're still in early stages of getting those proof points and nailing down, for example, the business case for a lot of these. Um, and, and I think what we're seeing now is a effort to look at each of the use cases across, again, Telco Cloud Enterprise and fine tune, for example, what are the economics that we need to achieve to say, this is worth making the change. Um, and whether it's a virtual CPE being deployed, a virtual EPC, or it's in a data center from a, you know, replacing, for example, a load balancer firewall, there's gotta be an element that says, okay, it's worth the effort, and this is what I'm going to achieve from the services uptake as well as the cost savings. I think we're still in the early stages of this one. I think that's where you're gonna see most of the focus in 15 about. Okay, what, one thing that is very evident is the momentum that is building behind the open standards, open source, open everything, as yes. far as SDN and NFV is concerned. You have the Intel Open Network Platform Server Reference Architecture. Yes. Is that what they also call Sunrise Trail? That's, that was the previous uh, internal code name, yes. Okay. And uh, we're very excited to talk about how this is ultimately taking all of the advances that we're helping to bring into open source, open standards, um, things like our contributions into OpenStack, contributions into the Open vSwitch, um, our own DPDK, our data plane development kit that we provide as an open source set of libraries and drivers to enable packet processing on, for example, Intel architecture-based solutions. Um, you know, these are a set of ingredients that we are taking and bringing them together as a recipe into a reference architecture that fundamentally allows you to enable networking on the server. So we just released 1.1. Uh, we're really excited to get going and progressing this on a quarterly beat rate. This is a reference architecture that is focused across telco cloud and enterprise. And it is specifically a foundational reference architecture that we're using to enable and, and continue to advance what we can do with our Intel network builders ecosystem. Ultimately, the goal is to take our ecosystem partnerships combine them with the reference design and accelerate trials and deployments like we talked about. Okay, so what role then does the ecosystem play in, the, in your SDN and NFV efforts? I mean, what about the likes of others, you know, your partners, Brocade you mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. um, Dell, yes. so on. Yes, 
So we are thrilled and excited to work with partners like Brocade, like Dell, to continue to advance what could be done on a high volume server like architecture. Um, in this case, you know, if you take a great example with Brocade, um, they're a wonderful partner that is taking their specific virtual functions, in this case a virtual router, virtual load balancer, and they're able to take advantage of some of the hardware advancements that we have from a microarchitecture, as well as our software drivers and libraries, and able to deliver very compelling, exciting products into the market that ultimately give you the highest performance per watt per inch in terms of a network function virtualization solution. Let's end the interview by looking forward. It's always the best thing to do, I think. We, we've seen, uh, well, I don't know about you, but I've never seen anything in the industry like it before. I mean, SDN and NFE just burst onto the world from nowhere and are immen now have become immensely important in two years. We're seeing the end of phase one, certainly as far as mm -hmm. NFE is concerned. We're moving away from the informative period into the normative period. We're seeing testing, we're seeing proof of concepts being brought forward, all in expectation of commercial deployment sometime in the not too distant future. So what's next for Intel here? How long do you think it'll be before this really starts to work out there in the real world? Well, I think we're seeing the beginnings of this today. Um, you know, as part of our release that we had for uh, our open network platform, we had also shared uh, a number of public deployments that are happening and trials. Um, we're personally watching uh, over 25 to 30 of them in the market across the globe in telco cloud enterprise and that's really underscoring that there is a big commitment within the market to go and, and make this happen. Um, the real question is what are going to be the first applications and is it going to be in cloud telco enterprise? That's I think what we're waiting to see. Many Torres, thank you very much. Thank you.